Hello dear children, welcome back. I am Dr. Jisha Jo. In this session, we shall discuss about the excretory system in humans and we shall also see the internal structure of the kidneys which are the primary excretory organs. So children, as I told you, the primary excretory organ in humans is the kidney. The kidney, we know they are bean-shaped structures. Where are they present or what is the location of the kidney? They are present on either side of the backbone and are protected by the last two ribs. So that is the location of kidney. They are located on either side of the backbone and are protected by the last two ribs. Okay, and we can see that the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney and this is to accommodate the liver. Okay, so I am just going to draw the structure of the excretory system or we can also uh, say, call it as the urinary system. Okay, so the right side kidney, so as I told you, whenever in all the systems, whenever we study the your left hand side will be the right of the system that you are drawing. Okay, so this is my left hand side. So, so that is the right kidney there and that is the left kidney. Okay, so two bean shaped structures. They are present on either side of the backbone and are protected by the last two ribs. And the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney. It can be asked as give reason. It is to accommodate the liver. Okay, so that is the right kidney and that is the left kidney. So, we can see a, a, a convex side and a concave side. This concave side of the kidney is called as the hilum. Hilum. Okay, and a tube arises from the kidney, a long tube that arises from the kidney. Okay, this long tube is called as the ureter. Ureter, that is the left kidney. That is the right kidney. Okay. And that concave uh, part of the kidney is called as the hilum. The long tube uh, arises from the hilum. And if you look at the tube, the tube which are called as the ureters, the function of the ureter is to carry the urine which is produced in the kidney to the storage organ which is the urinary bladder. So here if you look at this ureter you can see there is a difference in the diameter of the ureter where it joins with the kidney and the basal part. You can see that it is broader here, isn't it? Okay, this expanded portion of the ureter is called as the pelvis. Okay, so what is pelvis? Pelvis is the expanded portion of the ureter. Okay, now the ureter opens into the storage organ or storage bag. The urine is stored in this bag which is called as the urinary bladder. And the urine is released out or excreted out through urethra. Urethra. Okay. So, the kidney, it is the kidney that produces the urine. The urine is passed out from the kidney to the urinary bladder through the tubes which are called as the ureters. The expanded portion of the ureter is called as the pelvis. And if you look at the other end of the ureter, you can see that the ends are seen projecting into the urinary bladder. If suppose uh, the ureters were only till here, what, would, what might have happened if suppose the ureters were only till here? The urinary bladder stores urine 
and on the contraction of urinary bladder the urine is released out through the urethra by the opening of the sphincter muscles that are present there at the opening of the urethra so when the urinary bladder contracts if suppose the ure ure ureters the ends of the ureters were uh means uh, that end is only till here that is the tube extends only till here then there is a chance for the urine to pass back or backflow of the urine might take place so that is the reason why the ureters are extended inwards like that the end of the ureters are extended inwards into the urinary bladder because these extensions act as valves preventing the backflow of urine into the ureter as the urinary bladder contracts to release the urine out so children i hope that much is clear to you that is it is the kidneys that produce urine the urine that is produced in the kidneys is carried to the storage organ that is the urinary bladder through two tubes which are called as the ureters if you look at the ureter ureter has an expanded portion there where it joins with the kidney that expanded portion is called as the pelvis and at the other end you can see that the ureter extends into the urinary bladder so such an extension uh, helps it helps the ureters to act as valves to prevent the backflow of urine into the ureter as the urinary bladder contracts to release the urine out through the urethra and as i told you the urethra the opening of the urethra is guarded by sphincter muscles sphincter muscles uh, refers to a ring of circular muscles that are present at the opening of the urethra and by the relaxation of the sphincter muscles urine is released out and this process of release of urine is called as micturition micturition so the process of removal of urine so that is called as micturition so i hope you have understood uh, about the urinary system in humans now we shall move on to study the internal structure of the kidney we have seen kidneys are the primary excretory organs they are the organs where the urine formation takes place okay now we should know what is the internal structure of the kidney so that is the kidney which is a bean shaped structure okay and the outer uh, region is called as the renal capsule and if you take a longitudinal section of the kidney you can see two regions okay that is the renal capsule a uh, longitudinal section or an ls of the kidney shows two regions the first region is the or the outer region is the cortex you can see the cortex that is the cortex there and the cortex has a dotted appearance okay in a longitudinal section we can uh, observe a dotted appearance for the cortex and uh, why this dotted appearance and all we shall see in the next session okay so the cortex is the outer region of the kidney and it it has a dotted appearance then the inner region which is called as the medulla okay then the medulla has several structures like this okay medulla has uh, several structures like this which are called as pyramids okay they have a striped appearance like this they have a striped appearance the medulla has a striped appearance as you can see here okay and these are the pyramids 
the apex of the pyramid that is the apex of the pyramid is called as the papilla okay the apex of the uh, pyramids is called as the papilla and this uh, papilla projects into the pelvis so that is the pelvis we have seen what is pelvis pelvis is the expanded portion of the ureter isn't it that is the ureter the expanded portion of the ureter is called as the pelvis the apex of the pyramids which are called as the papilla extends into the pelvis this region is the pelvis so it is uh, the papilla extends into the pelvis okay what uh, what is the basis of the striped appearance and all we shall study in the next video so this is the internal structure of the kidney uh, at the outermost region is the renal capsule okay and uh, on taking a longitudinal section you can see that the kidney has an outer region which is called as the renal cortex and the renal cortex shows a dotted appearance it has dots like this in it okay and the reason for it we shall study in the next video and uh, there is an inner region which is called as the renal medulla the medulla has a striped appearance stripes are present there in the medulla and these stripes uh, join to form pyramids the apex of the pyramids is called as the papilla the papilla extends into the expanded portion of the ureter which is called as the pelvis so i hope the internal structure of the kidney is clear to you these uh, kidneys are as we have seen the kidneys are the primary excretory organs and the basic structural and functional unit of the kidneys is called as the renal tubules or the kidney tubules or we can also call them as the uriniferous tubules or they may be also called as the nephrons so in the next video we shall discuss about the structure of the nephron and the functioning of the nephron so children i hope this session is clear to you if you have any doubts regarding what we have learned today please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section thank you